Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and after a long time, I'm finally doing the not so requested room tour. I'm actually moving out in just a week and a half and I thought it would be nice to just have a documentation of what my room looks like um, before I go. Shall we go in? Let's go! Come on in! So, this is the hallway. Like the first thing that you'll see is basically this door right here that leads to the bathroom which we will tackle last <laughs> and then if you come in on the left hand side is basically where we have this hanger and I just have all of my sort of outers and bags and just stuff that I use to go out of my room and right here I just tied my broom and it is actually a really good one I bought it from Amazon and it's like this plasticky like silicone-y uh, material it's very easy to clean so yeah and if you go to this side i keep my shoe rack with obviously all of my shoes and <laughs> some socks and also here you'll see like a full length full body mirror uh, which is very very nice because then i can see myself before i go out <laughs> and yeah it's like a, the perfect location for like this whole docking station before i go out okay moving on so this is what the main room looks like and um you can basically see everything from here you can start here <laughs> so my room has this huge shelving unit which i really really love because i have a lot of stuff as you can see um we'll just start from this side first uh, basically there are four main compartments of the shelving let's start here this is where i keep all of my documents and folders and any uni notes um there's just a bunch of them and i have actually um, recycled like almost half and then down here i keep all of my sort of face products so anything related to skincare and makeup and i also keep my keys there just for the sake of again practicality and then down here these two are not the most organized or aesthetic looking um shelves but i basically keep just spare stuff here and on this shelf is as you can see all of my uh, books i actually also already sold like quite a lot of my books and also donated them because i can't possibly bring everything to cambridge and so uh yeah here i just have like um the folders for the most important stuff um that i access quite regularly and then i have my brita water bottle here we all need a brita uh and then i have a um what do you call this like a buddha statue um which is just laying there it's supposedly like there's ah oh, supposedly a lamp guys <laughs> um and then yeah these are basically all the books that i'm keeping and some of them are actually gifts from friends so that's why i'm keeping them as well and some journals journals more journals and my favorite book <laughs> and my second favorite book and this is basically the last of the shelves and i keep more miscellaneous stuff here this is basically a box of all of the mementos so like um train tickets plane tickets any like souvenirs that i get from my trips um uh, anywhere basically i keep them all uh, i keep all of them in this box and then this is actually a very handy um electronic pouch i keep basically all of my sort of hard disk extra chargers extra cables and everything in here and super organized and i have my hair dryer this is not a dyson <laughs> i can't afford a dyson but it works fine um and then i also have this um antibacterial wipe yeah that is it i know i'm not supposed to sit on a table but in order to fit into the frame um so yeah my room comes with this super long table which i really love because whenever i do work or study there's like a lot of stuff on my table um so it's good to have like um extra space and room and if you go from this side uh we basically have my extra monitor which is very very handy especially that i edit a lot and i also read a lot of like journal articles and things like that it's very very handy to have an extra um monitor and at the same time it doubles as like a mini tv like if, if i just want to like lay down on my bed and then watch something <laughs> i can put it on um behind it um i actually put a lot of cables and just things that i don't want uh people to see or like i don't want me to see because they're distractions and i'm not gonna show you either <laughs> and then 
Next to it is just a hand sanitizer, post-it notes, old post-it notes that I need to throw away, my um, pencil case, and fun fact, this is actually about six years old. I bought it when I was still in high school. And yeah, you have my laptop in the middle, and then uh, it comes with this chair, which is quite um, comfy as well. And down here, we have uh, more shelving. So this accommodation is very generous with the shelving, um, but I have a drawer here where I keep all of um, more miscellaneous stuff, uh, and also chargers and some supplements and things like that. And then down here, I keep my camera and some equipment as well as just extra tote bags. Okay, this is very straightforward. This is my bed and it is a double bed. And it is a, actually one fun fact. It is at a very good distance to the window because at night when it's like a bit um, warm, uh, especially during summer, I can just use my feet <laughs> to like, take this up and then open the window um and yeah on the gap between my bed and the desk i have my ukulele and also a <laughs> a tripod the accommodation also comes with this very tall um wardrobe and there's also two more drawers down there i will not be showing you guys what's in here because it's very messy <laughs> but yeah clothes <laughs> Okay, as promised, this is my bathroom. So the accommodation comes with a, I don't know, double bathroom, which is something is pretty generous. They, yeah, basically they gave us more shelving units and I don't keep anything here because my stuff were pretty much damaged because of a flooding that happened a couple of weeks ago. I'll explain later. Um, but yeah, I keep just all of my stuff that I use the most right here. And then there's the mirror, there's the basin, and then there's just normal stuff that normal people use. <laughs> like toothbrush, to toothpaste and everything. Okay, again, I have to sit here because this bathroom cannot contain two people. Um, but basically, uh, I also have my laundry bag and uh, I don't know why I put my, my uh, trousers there, but yeah, there I have it. And then these are reusable cotton pads that I wanna wash as well. And then just some more cleaning stuff down there. And then I also have this, um, what do you call this? The toilet? The, no, this thing. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, bath mat. Okay. Yeah, and I also have a bath mat right there. On this um, door, I also hang um, a hanger <laughs> for my clothes. Um, yeah, and this is where I take shower. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it's pretty um, self-explanatory. Um, yeah, everything is given by the accommodation except for the caddy. I actually bought it, uh, bought this myself, and it's the perfect size. So, yeah, and. That is it for my bathroom. <laughs> Alright, that is it guys. That's the end of my room tour. I hope you enjoyed the video. Actually, I have not lived in this room for that long. Um, I actually have lived in this room for only a month and a half because I had to move from my previous room, which I'll insert some clips for you to see. was in a ground floor and it actually got floated there's like a whole drama a whole story about this if you want to read more i actually posted on instagram story like i updated everyone on instagram i'll link the highlight if you want to read more but yeah basically i got relocated to this room and it's actually a really good uh, relocation because I live by myself in this flat. <laughs> There's like, this is supposedly a, a five bed flat, but it was only me. So I had the kitchen all to myself. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm going to be moving in just a week and a half. And I'm going to be uh, moving to Cambridge. And I'll also record all of the moving process for you to see. So yeah, thank you. Bye.